Well, it's a case that caused massive protests in Rochester earlier this year. Daniel Prude stopped breathing while in Rochester police custody last March, and he died 10 days later. But the days leading up to his death brings us right here to Western New York. Berkeley Breen from our NBC sister station in Rochester brings us tonight's investigation. 9.30 p.m., March 21st. Daniel Prude left the Chicago apartment he shared with his sister and got on a train bound for Rochester. Why did he want to come here? Um, I, I think it's more his sister wanted him to come here. Because... Don Thompson is the attorney for Daniel's father, brother, and sister. He says Daniel was starting to behave in ways that made his sister uncomfortable. He didn't seem like himself, so she sent him to live with Joe to figure out what was going on. Joe is Daniel's brother here in Rochester. It's now 8.35 a.m. March 22nd and the first sign of trouble. Daniel Prude was ordered off the train when it arrived at the Buffalo Depew station. Depew police reports say their officer watched Prude walk to a bus stop. Depew police called RPD looking for Daniel's family. RPD had no info. Daniel walked four miles into the town of Cheektowaga and trouble followed him. He matched his description 100%. This is police body camera video of Daniel Prude, never before seen in public. You will soon see how the police blurred the video over Daniel's face. When Cheektowaga police stopped him, a block from the park where the cell phone was stolen, Prude upended his duffel bag, sending papers flying all over the street. Police believe he did that to show he didn't have the phone. Are you from Chicago? Yes, sir. Yeah, you okay. Do you have any family that lives over here? No, sir. That's why I was trying. I was just trying to get closer, sir. That's it. I okay. was just saying. Trying to get to Rochester. I'm trying to just get close. You can just put me closer. That comes get me. My car that way, sir. Not only did Daniel Prude not have a car, he had no cell phone and no money, and he was 80 miles from his brother's home in Rochester. I mean, where are you trying to go? What's your ultimate to goal my here? Family no, house. I get that, but what's the how are you going to get there? Huh? What's the address? It's the uh, fifth. Is right off. Do you show you ID at all? Do you have ID in that? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Police asked if he wanted to go to a shelter, and then they asked Prude if he was under the influence. Oh, I was drinking. I was drink. I, I drink a lot of beers. Okay. Are you drunk right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I smoke a little PCP and, and marijuana every now and then. Daniel's autopsy showed PCP in his system. Chictawaga police said they smelled no alcohol on his breath. It was 11:40 in the morning, just outside Buffalo. In 16 hours, Daniel Prude would be handcuffed, pinned by RPD officers to a cold, damp Jefferson Avenue and not breathing. Have a seat. All right. Yep.